armor is damaged. Bail out, this vehicle has had it. Hello again, everybody. Welcome back to Fujits Blitz with me, Fujits. Hello. Look, we all know Blitz is a toxic game. In some cases, it's because people are just asses and they just like to be toxic because of no other reason than they're dicks. But in quite a few cases, it's because of sheer frustration. But why are we frustrating? Well, I'm going to show you three games that are pretty typical at the moment in Blitz, unfortunately. And it's these type of games that make people have the red mist descend upon them, giving rise to toxic outbursts. Now, don't get me wrong, I am not endorsing toxicity here, but I am trying to understand it, because even I get toxic when some things just seem to defy belief. So without further ado, let's get into those games. So this is the first game here on Port Bay, me rolling out in a charioteer. I'm going to stop it there because I want you to see that on our team we have a WZ120 and an FB301. That is important. Don't really forget, I am in a charioteer, ATD. Okay, it plays pretty much like a medium, but it's a TD. And we're on Port Bay. And, hmm, already we've got the split team. But it's the 301 and the 120 that make me go, hmm, because neither of them have gone over to the other side. Now, look, that's normal. But now I've got to do it. And you know, I don't mind, but I'm a TD. I shouldn't be over this side of the map doing what, they're, doing what the FV and the 120 should be doing. But this is Blitz nowadays. And map awareness and knowing where to go on a map in Blitz is, well, not as common as you would expect. Now I'm just going to sit here and have a really good time. And everybody's just going to brawl in YOLO. And look, the red team have flanked us, because that's what they do. And everybody's getting frustrated. It's, it's just one of those games. But the red team are also getting frustrated, because... They are like, what's going on? People are asking for help, and I'm just quite happy sitting here plumping shots across the map. Now, I'm not saying that this is, you know, a terrible game that's going to lead to toxicity, but it does, because no one's pushing me from the red team. My team is, well, doing whatever they want to do. They're not even bothered with the flank. We've already lost two tanks there, look. And... Now we've got a, a tank coming back to help them out. It's 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 just a big bugger's muddle at the end of the day. I I, I have no right being where I am. Their E75 is not going to push. In fact, they're going to push onto the FV or whatever the tank. Yes, yeah, the FV. But they've got four tanks there. And there's only me in this corner and that FV. They should be pushing. The red team should be pushing. I have got you know, shots into those tanks with impunity. Nobody is stopping me. Nobody is putting pressure on me. And they haven't even killed the FV. Now look, I, I get that people get different skill levels, etc, etc. But the E75 on their team hasn't moved. He's, he's stayed in that position. And he's an E75. He's a big tank with a big gun and a lot of armor. And he is, he didn't even bother to help his team. And this is what leads to the frustrations. And you will see here in, in the chat, they will turn around and say, e, the E75 is just the worst. Because what is he doing there? Why didn't he push? Why didn't he move? I mean, don't get me wrong, my team wasn't exactly fantastic, to be honest with you. Um, I mean, the FE didn't do his job, the, one two, the, the, the 120 didn't do his job. I mean, I had to do their job for them. It doesn't bother me because, you know, I get decent damage out of it. But this is what leads to frustration in the game. And ultimately it leads to uh, toxicity. So let's jump into the next game. This time I'm in a Conway, another TD, here on Yukon. Now I know a couple of the players in this game and they're very good players and they know what they're doing. But I also know that, you know, we're going to have a bit of a brawly session around here. But again, that doesn't bother me. I'm in a relatively safe-ish position. Um, I'm going to get smacked if they come around the corner, but hey, that happens. 
And we are in Jesus. It, it, it helps. I mean, it was always going to bounce that turret. Um, if, in case you're wondering, I've got the small gun in the Conway because I like it because it's better. I mean, why have the derp when you can outdo people with your really cool reload? But anyway, we're just gonna. I'm just gonna hold the fort here. Now you may be wondering, but Fujit, why are you doing this? This looks like it's going to be a decent game. Or uh, in Jesus, or in Jesus. Thank you very much again. I mean, that was a pretty decent shot, and it did nothing. This is a really difficult shot, and it does that. I mean, sometimes. Our in Jesus shines, it giveth and it taketh away. But anyway, back to my train of thought. You were saying, oh, but Fiji, this looks like it's going to be a pretty decent game. Well, it is, but for one player, <laughs> which we'll get to later. So we're just holding our own here. We're just trying to stop them from flanking. And, you know, they've got their little medium going across there. We've got another waffle tractor. I know their E100 is there. Their E3 is trying to push round. I'm not going to be able to get any shots into that med. It's never going to happen. So I, I need to see if I can get anything into their E3 because he's pushing down onto our heavies. Nope, not going to be able to. Waffle Tractor's not even looking at him, so that's nice. So I can't do anything with the E3. Waffle Tractor puts a shot in over to their med. He is going to be a pain. We're losing tanks. We've lost two, they've lost three. Their E100 is still where I expected their E100 to be. Somebody's got to get rid of this medium, and that somebody's going to have to be me. So I'm going to push on him. I've still got enough hit points to do this. Um, yeah, get a good roll in there. Get a bit of a crap one there. He's going to get one into me, but I'm going to be able to get bounce him, and I finish him off. So we got rid of that danger tank. Now it's five against three. That's right, five against three. And there's two of them, E100 and a Waffle Tractor. You heard me correctly, five against three. No, no, it's four against three. However, we've still got an E100 in a Waffle Tractor, and I don't know where that other tank is. The E3 is over there where we left him. So bounce the Waffle Tractor. That was luck rather than anything else. But then that's a low roll. Thank you, RNG Jesus. You give it and you taketh away. Now the Waffle Tractor is going to get another one into me, but I get one into him. Pretty low roll, but not to worry. It was an HE. I'm just on AP and. Am I going to be able to finish him off? No, because the E100 pushes me. Now, the reason why this game is so bad is because not of the Waffle Tractor, not of the Pattern, but this guy in his T57 Heavy with all his hit points. Wow. I mean, that's a T57 Heavy, guys. And he is just sat at the back doing nothing. He has let everybody else do the job for him. He gets a shot in here on the E100, I admit, but then he fluffs the next two. Unbelievable. Now he expects the pattern to do all the hard work. The pattern takes out the waffle tractor, and the, he's not gonna even gonna go and out the pattern. He's not gonna share his hit points. He's not gonna do anything. We could have lost that game. The pattern was down to a one shot. We didn't. We won. But look at this. He's not a bad player. What on earth was he doing? He, he sat at the back and did nothing. But that is nothing compared to the next game, believe me. So here we are on Rockfield in the FV4202. And I was looking at the team list and I was like, yeah, we've got a chance here. They're all going to go to the one side. We've got opportunity. And when opportunity smiles upon you, you grasp it. I didn't count on the team, however. So we're going out to the normal position because I know that a majority of them are coming this way. I know that. I can tell from their setup. And our team is split. Totally split. Okay, I've got one at the base. And there we go. We spot three, four. Four of their tanks are spotted. What a snapshot. Four of their tanks have spotted. We've got, you know, but we're split. We're split. I've got a tank in our spawn still. A TD moving out. A TD over at the other side of the map and one and a tank down on the base there's only there are three of us here there's me a td and a heavy this jaeguru very aggressive but to be fair you know he got himself into a good position now it's three against three or so you would think actually it's not it's three against five because they're flanking us now i'm gonna i'm gonna stop the mini map at the moment stop the game and show you the mini map so here we go on the minimap. So you can see that there are at least five, five tanks on this side because of the FV in the corner. One of their tanks is on the base and another one of their tanks is hiding up top. There are only three of us here. 
Two of them, two of our team are camping, and two of the others are completely over the other side of the map. We haven't got a hope in a house chance in this position. And you understand that quickly. We are going to be overwhelmed. I mean, they've got the superiority in this corner, and there we go. I get taken out. That leaves just two tanks over here. But this is where everything defies belief. That is a 50B. A 50B. What on earth is he doing camping there? I mean, I know we make a joke of the new heavy TD meta, but this is ridiculous. He's a 50B. He is doing nothing but sitting there and camping. He is making absolutely no use of the tank. Now look, I know he's a low win rate player, but that having a low win rate doesn't phase me in the slightest. He is absolutely making zero effort. This is a, a, a clueless and, I hate to say this, a very selfish player. He's got, it's nothing to do with his win rate. It's everything to do with his mindset. He's just sat there doing nothing and getting wrecked because why not? Seriously, he's, he's actually making no attempt to play the game at all. None. And this is what makes people angry and upset. Anyway, I've been fooded. By all means, comment and everything below. Hopefully that video was, you know, something that you enjoyed. It's not about low win rate. It's not about any of that. It's about, you know, just playing the game, guys. And if you don't do your jobs, people are going to get annoyed. Anyway, look at that. He's got a lot of experience. Just clueless. Anyway, remember, it's just a game. So stay safe out there. Have fun on the battlefield. And happy tanking. Because, you know, that is what it's all about. Having fun and being happy.